Hey, um, just had a quick idea here. Um, th this is warning to all politicians. I'm running for president in 2024, part 46, I believe. I was thinking about uh, a lot of the technology we can use against crime and stuff. It's like that special forces unit. We call them the Guardians of the Galaxy. Something like that. Uh, would go anywhere in the world to uh, seek and destroy those who um, think they can just do whatever they want to do, be drug cartels, run uh, child pornography or prostitution rings, and just take them out. Enough of the bullshit. Just take them out. Um, you know, but uh, they would they would have drones and everything everything available to them. Um, be able to uh, um, do whatever they needed to do to get the job done, wiretap, whatever. And the, you know, like I said, they would be directed. There would be uh, Homeland Security, FBI, ATF, all those types of agencies, and uh, they would get together. Um, say the FBI said, "Hey, there's these people here doing this or whatever, or, or whatever agency." And then, by order of the White House, uh, these people would be uh, dispatched. They couldn't be used like they do in South American countries against uh, political uh, rivals and this and that. They would be strictly law enforcement, but would have the ability of a special operations unit of the U.S. military. So, um, and they would operate within the country and without outside the country. But um, they would have every technological uh, uh, advantage we could give them and let them use for surveillance, everything else. So, um, so you got all these gangs and stuff in Chicago, and they're shooting and everything. And uh, I'm willing to bet nine times out of ten they're using stolen cars and stuff. Um, so you ever see a bait, bait car? So here's what you do out there, law enforcement. You set out your bait cars wherever, and uh, you let people take them. But instead of busting them right away, you just you hide everything really good in there so they won't know. You don't need the uh, remote. Uh, uh, well, I guess you could leave the kill switch and all that in there, but um, you know you you won't need the uh, lock the doors type stuff or a lot of equipment in the car you know just as long as it can transmit um, sound and video um, and send out its location um, so you let them take the car because if they're taking the car chances are they're involved in other criminal activity and you could even leave packages in the car or even the, uh, where these home uh, uh, these package thieves go um, wherever you got rings of these package thieves you know set up some packages on the steps and everything you don't have to bust them right there uh, so they, they come and take a package off it's got some goods in it the same same with uh, these bait cars you leave some stuff in there um, little uh, those goods will make their way into their homes and uh, you'll have the same type of stuff, you know, you know uh, at least uh, listening equipment type stuff. And, um, you know, you can catch them talking about their drug deals and or they're going to go shoot this person or that person. And, uh, you know, same thing with looting. When there's one of these big demonstrations coming up, just the stores around there and everything, put some, put some goods in there that have uh, the ability, you know, to send its location and uh, record and uh, let these fools go home with all this shit because if they're if they're looting if they're taking bait cars stuff like this stealing cars their chances are they're involved in doing other stuff so let it be like you know when you put uh, you know poison down and stuff for the roaches or the rats they take it back and they uh, uh, you know spread it amongst uh, the others and uh, you get a lot more of them so you do the same thing with this with these uh, bait setups and uh, wherever there's going to be one of these uh, peaceful protests 
uh, you make sure that the stores around there and everything have some goods uh, in them in case they're looted that when uh, these jackasses decide they're going to break in and uh, disregard all the laws of the country and take stuff you let it you know they get in there they take stuff they take it with them you find out who they are who they sell it to whatever maybe you, you find out about some more more crimes um, so it's my idea on that um, I think it would be a good tool don't bust them right away when they take that bait car uh, you'll be able to see and hear everybody who gets in that car you know, let them drive around in a couple of weeks, see if they do a drive-by or something, or, go, or attempted to go do a drive-by. And you got them. Let's get some drones into the hands and scanners up. Uh, you know, um, wh why do we depend on, why are we depending on all these uh, uh, videos to come from these stores? Why don't we have surveillance cameras set up on uh, traffic lights and uh, light poles and all this and everything in these... Uh, high crime neighborhoods you know so there's some more of my ideas there I wish you all the best out there and uh, you like my ideas and stuff give a thumbs up and it comes time to run for 2024 you know get enough people write me in I'll uh, go file the paperwork and run and uh, we'll make all the politicians in this country sit up and take note make them sit up and take note you know people need to start to wake up though on their own uh, really do you get to start looking at you know how they're 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 playing you they're using politics and all these groups with special interests and stuff minority parties and stuff just meant parties of those with less number You know, less less number than the white people in this country. That is for a political party. Now they've hooked you up with all these other kinds of groups. Have attached their wagons, and uh, instead of less in number, they use the term minority just to mean people of color who can't seem to function without some kind of government help and who are always in trouble with the law and this and that and everything and that's coming from them their side the way they portray it, portray everything it's almost a derogatory term anymore to use the word minority if you ask me you're not going to get equality if you keep allowing people to call yourselves you know minorities in my opinion anyhow and oh I wanted to further expand on that about you know in this country you have the right to assemble and to freely associate in freedom of religion but if you own a business and somebody applies there and I'm not talking about race or other religions I'll, I'll get into that too but if somebody applies there um, that you don't want to associate with that you don't want in your life why do you have to hire them why do you have to hire them if their actions and demeanor are more or less the same as proselytizing. I'll give you an example. Uh, if a Christian goes and applies at a Muslim, Muslim place of business or something like that and is denied purely on the fact that they're Christian, that's not right. But if they're hired and then they start proselytizing and stuff like that and everything, then it would be wrong. And the same thing if a Muslim went and worked at, at some place was a Christian ownership and was proselytizing and stuff and everything because that's whether it's politics or religion that's each individual's own personal business you don't need to hear that at work or any place it, it's like if you want it it's it's like solicitation look at all these phone calls you get and all this stuff in the mail and everything that you don't want you know my opinion is if you want something you're going to go out and look for it you don't need no door to door door salesman, no internet crap in your in or uh, email crap in your inbox all the time. Um, you know, no bunch of junk in your mailbox all the time. If you want something in this day and age, it is easy enough for you to go and get it. And the government needs to step up and stop all these people from harassing you all the freaking time. 
you want their product, it's very easy for you to go and get it or to find out where to get it. But anyhow, it's kind of the same thing. Um, you know, no matter what religion you are in your religion, it says not not to associate with unbelievers and and to uh, associate with like-minded individuals. Now that's interreligion too. You you might not agree on doctrine and stuff, but you all believe in God. You all believe in family. You all believe in heterosexual marriage, monogamy. You you're all uh, you know um, pro-life. All these all these types of things are in every religion. So while you might not agree on doctrine or or you know the n- names of God, which it's just language that shouldn't even be a barrier. So you might all agree on that, but you don't have to let the other people proselytize and stuff. So then here comes this individual, a homosexual, or, or you know, who is outwardly, you know, a drag queen, whatever, like this. And I worked at places, there were homosexuals there who kept their private lives to themselves, never had a problem. There were other ones there who pushed it all the time. It's all you ever heard out of their mouths is about how they didn't care if people didn't accept them, this and that and everything, and don't knock it if you haven't tried it, and all this and all. And that's no person at a place of business should have to deal with that. And no employer should have to deal with having to hire a man with makeup on his face and dressing like a woman and acting like a woman if it's against his religious or even his non-religious beliefs. You have the right freedom of association with like-minded people. People You know, you hang around with certain people as your friends because you have the same interests, this and that. So, same thing at work, you know. Uh, you know, um, I have my beliefs and everything like that, but I don't go to work and tell my boss he has to believe my beliefs. I don't go to work and tell other people they have to believe my beliefs. This stuff here is on YouTube, which is a free and open forum. And just like they used to tell us all the time when there was programming that was put on TV that people found offensive, they were told, turn the channel. Change the channel. You don't like it? Change the channel. Now what are we seeing? Now I understand if, if it's out and outright hate, hate speech, like uh, black Israelites standing in the street holding up posters showing white men in chains and that they're, they're going to enslave us and they're, they're yelling, kill the crackers. That's hate speech. That is out and outright stuff ought to be taken off. Same as if it's Ku Klux Klan. But they don't attack them. They don't attack them and call them out and say, no, you're not going to be put, we're not going to let you spew that on our social media. Who are they going after? Conservatives and religious people. That's who they're going after. So... The lawmakers have fallen in to this law for agenda and using the law as a hammer against political um, adversaries and ideological, ide- de- lo- ideological adversaries, ideological adversaries, sorry. That's what's going on. That's that's socialist communism 101. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it's it's history. So you have them trying to shut down people who have opposing views of theirs, and now they're telling law enforcement they have to get in line or they're going to fire them and throw them under the bus every chance they get to. So if you're a business owner and, and you don't want a cer- certain type of person in your midst because they have do not have the same beliefs, they do not have the same ideals as you and everything, what do they do? They'll, co- they'll come after you. They will come after you. 
Now, I'm not talking about race, religion, or, or political uh, ideas. I'm talking lifestyle. Someone who would disrupt your business because either the people coming to your establishment would not like it or because you would not like to associate with those types of people. So where's your freedom? You're told who you have to associate with. If I want to freely associate with people, like-minded people like myself, why does that stop if you own a business? So, anyhow, that's I'm trying to expand on that there as to you know how the society is going and how they are you're being bound and gagged by the lawmakers and special interests who line their pockets. They pass these laws and they make it impossible for you to live free and live the way you believe your creator wants you to. Or else you're going you're gonna to be the criminal that the government's coming after. Not the people, not the people who are putting pedophiles in your schools. You. You oppose what the school is doing. Well, now now you're on the now you're on the on the list. Because the people who are putting that in the schools and will raise their voices, they will they will make sure these politicians know that they're going to do what they want to do and that they better stop you from trying to stop them. You need to wake up. You need to wake up, especially African Americans. They're telling you, you know, making it legal for your children to smoke weed and teaching them to be homosexuals in school. It's good for you. It's good for your community. Trust us, it's good for you. It's not good for you, and you know it. And you know it. All right, wish you all the best out there. God bless. We'll talk to you on the next one. Adios.